Got to try it again, guys. Sorry. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Mr. Fred and Friends. Um, you know, I, I got to start, first of all, I got to apologize to all the guys in the green room here. You know, I, I <laughs> oh, man, I got one of my guests just laughing so hard at me. Uh, anyhow, um, yeah, I fired up the show. I was all ready to go, but I forgot to go live. So we're live now, so I think it's all going to work out. But I got to tell you, it was worth the wait. I've got a terrific show for you guys tonight. Um, I've got some people on that are just... Uh, Absolutely terrific. I, I really, really do. Um, I've got Mr. Kenny Stewart from the General Paintball Museum. Um, he's going to be on. I've got Mr. Jamie Conley, uh, just working with the Young Guns. Uh, just a terrific guy. You're, you're going to love to listen to some of the stuff he's going to tell you. And he brought some of the Young Guns to an event we're going to really talk about, too. And then I have none other than Mr. Joshua Silverman. Um, Joshua is from Belkin. And... Uh, He's going to sit and he's going to tell us he was actually at the event, too. So it was pretty cool. Um, and what we're going to talk about the event is Monte Casino that just happened at Root House, Illinois. And it was just absolutely terrific. Um, I just absolutely loved it. Now, normally I give my schmeal. You know, I, I talk about Tim Schloss and everybody. And, I, and I'm going to do it. But I'm going to bring uh, my co-host up real quick, though, because uh, before he goes to sleep. Because I see him all kick back over here, man. <laughs> What's going on, Billy? Oh, no. Trying to recuperate break from one hell of a weekend. That's right. You know, if, if you weren't at Root House, Illinois, you wouldn't see what this guy did over the weekend. Um, I, I, I never thought there was 25 hours in a day, but I think you worked that many. So, yeah, you were uh, rocking pretty good, man. And, hey, we got to say hi to Connor Bryant. Connor in Australia. Connor, you know, buddy, I got you the shirt I told you, too. We're going to get it all together. I guess I'm going to take up a... Uh, a collection and send it to you because I know it's about eight hundred dollars to send a shirt to Australia. Isn't that right, Bill? That's pretty close. <laughs> pretty damn close, yeah. And I got Bond check, Bond check watching tonight, man. Very, very cool. Um, I still haven't had a chance to meet her. Uh, I guess Billy knows her. Yep. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna meet her one of these days, that's for sure. And Daniel Hellhound Massey. There you go. Now, Daniel. Real quick, Daniel's watching us right now. Daniel, I have you written down here. I got a piece of paper. Some of the people that really impacted me this last weekend. And you know what, bud? You were one of them. You really were. And we've got Bud Orr watching. Bud was one of the generals uh, in the, the game last week, and it was absolutely terrific. Wow, well, you know, we've hit 25 uh, live already, Bill. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We got Kel Kathy Alvarez watching, um, Jeff Thompson, uh, just some terrific people. And Jeff, hey. Make sure Steve sent you that shirt. If he didn't, I want you to let me know about that. All right. So, Bill, was it a great weekend or what? It was an awesome weekend. Uh, weather was perfect. Everybody's attitudes was just amazing. I didn't hear any complaints at all. The food at the food shack was outstanding. Got to see all my paintball friends. I, it was just a great time. Got to get out there and watch everybody play. And it was it was, awesome. Yeah, and you're right. The attitudes were terrific. And, you know, 
Yeah. We have we have a lot of big people there, you know, um, which we'll mention in a few minutes. You know, uh, Bodor's watching. We had Dan Kobe there. Uh, Gino flew in. Uh, you know, Gino brought the guys from Belkin in and, and to support everything. Um, it was just absolutely outstanding. Uh, as a matter of fact, Gino's watching us right now. So, Josh, when I bring you up, you better have it together, brother. Yeah, you I, always got it together. I know you do. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've even seen David Bell snuck in and said hi for just an instant. I see him. For about oh, did he really? Yeah. yeah. You know, David Bell, I actually have on my list as one of the guys I was going to mention tonight, you know, because, you know, what happened was uh, Gino from Belkin he brought David Bell out. And he brought Joshua Silverman and a couple other guys too. He brought out, and uh, he just came out to support us and, and and to support the band. And you know, the band is is just the coolest group of guys I think that's out there. I just absolutely love these guys. They're they're nothing short of terrific, and these guys all work their butts off for paintball. So I, I just absolutely love them. And uh, they flew out. We had a lot of the band members there, right, Bill? And and a yeah. lot of their wives came out also. You know, David oh, yeah. Ruddick, you know, Paintball Dave uh, and his, his wife, Tony, were there. And, you know, and Tim Schloss. Tim Schloss, yep. you know, we used to own Tiger Strike Camel, and now he owns Gateway Paintball, which is what, Bill? Ten minutes? Ten minutes from the airport. <laughs> you know, he told me so he timed it the other day, and it's only six minutes. So I, and I, 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 I'm going down there Tuesday or Thursday. So you know, I'm going to drive it. So I'm going to find out what he's lying. I, ironically, there's a restaurant ten minutes from there too that sells roast beef sandwiches called Lion's Choice. You know what? That's where I think you guys have been there. And he says that he wants to take Sherry and I that when we we show up there Tuesday. So yeah, it should be pretty cool. I, um, I heard I heard they make an awesome chicken sandwich. Yeah, well, you know, you talked about that cook shack uh, at uh, Monte Ooh. Casino, and you Ooh. drooled every time you talked about that. Yeah. And, and I see a guy come out of there, and he's got a paper plate, and he's got this Mongol-sized hamburger, cheeseburger <laughs> in the middle of it, surrounded by potato chips with a coating of Oreo cookies. That, that's that's how it came out of there, you know? So um, I can see that was why one of your favorite places. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, someone told me you tried to hook up to that trailer and take it with you. Was that true? <laughs> yeah, I tried. No, okay, okay. I'm going to leave you down there, I guess. You know? yeah. <laughs> too much other stuff already hooked up. But, yeah, it was. But, you know, I, I, I have to mention, you know, Tim Schloss, uh, which we just mentioned, him and his wife, Terry, were there. And David Ruddick and his wife, Tony, were there. Yeah. And uh, Bud Orr was there. Bud Orr and Dane Colby, um, you know, Bud Orr. He doesn't need any introduction. Uh, no. I absolutely love the guy. And you know what amazes me? Bud Orr played. I mean, he played constantly all oh. weekend long. He is one tough bird, baby, I've let got, me tell you. I've got footage of him duking it out up there at the Abbey, and he was all over that field. Absolutely. It was just incredible. And Damon Fowler was there, too. You know, Damon, you were on my list, too. I was going to say hi to you. You know, uh, Damon has uh, the Gator Melee, and uh, he was there. And, I mean, the stuff is great. You know, I've had Damon on the show uh, before, and uh, we pushed his product. It's pretty cool. And we're going to have Damon on again. You know, um, I, I just uh, I like his product, and I like him. Yep. You know, he, I like his I attitude. You know what? Everybody that was at Paintball to go, those are the cream of the crop right there, as far as I'm concerned. That was, a, I, you know, Mark Davis was there. I got to see one of the most beautiful engraved autocockers ever yep. in my life. You know? Absolutely, yeah. And, and Mark did that all by hand, you know. Oh, yeah. That wasn't, that wasn't done with a drum or anything. Oh, like I know. That. Yeah. Yeah, he, he said he had 70 hours into that. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it was incredible. You know, we're sitting there, we're, we're sitting there talking about, you know, I, I, I'm going to talk a little bit about Gino in a little while, but I, I also want to mention, you know, Tom K. I want to mention Jerry Braun. I want to mention um, Randy Camilla. You know, uh, all of these guys are, are terrific people. Uh, Ross Alexander uh, from Line SI. So, you know, I, right now I'm not in my studio. I'm actually uh, broadcasting from a remote location which I will not tell anybody. A secret bunker. A secret bunker. You bet you're bippy on that, baby. Uh, so, uh, but anyhow, um, you know, I've got three other guys here that I want to bring up. And uh, the whole premise of this show is to talk about Monte Casino. Joe and Angie, what's your last name? Snelton. 
Yeah, see, I, I, I almost gave it a shot, but I thought, why be embarrassed? Let Bill be embarrassed. <laughs> so, you know, hey, hey, we're, you know, we're working this together here, baby. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> but you did a good job. You got it right. That kind of embarrassed me anyhow. <laughs> so, you know what? I'm going to bring up some people. First, I'm going to start with Mr. Kenny Stewart from the General Paintball Museum. How are you doing this evening, Kenny? Doing good. How are you guys doing? Uh, we're doing great, buddy. You know, we're, uh, like I say, we're collectively going to talk about uh, Monte Casino okay. and, uh, you know, how great it was and our expectations now for next year. Yeah. So, you know, and uh, it, it was pretty cool. I'm glad Bill turned me on to this. Uh, I, was, I was very, very happy about that. And I'm going to bring up uh, another gentleman right now. I want to bring up Mr. Jamie Connolly. How you What's doing this evening, good? Jamie? How you guys doing? Doing great. Oh, I see you got one of them players there with you, yeah. huh? You remember this guy? I absolutely do. How you doing? Yeah. Good. Good? Did you have a good time at Monte Casino? Yes. You did, huh? You were out there rocking. Boy, you guys are something else, man. He came home and, and he plays this Minecraft game every once in a while and he recreated the pirate trip map. Oh, did you really? Oh, it was pretty cool. I was like, man, that's that's neat, man. So he had a blast. He, he loved it. Well, you know, what's pretty cool, too, is, you know, I, I I went live there just a little bit. You know, it was very hard because I couldn't do it underneath the pavilion because of the Wi-Fi. And, you know, Kenny helped me a little bit, but we, we couldn't get online. So yeah. this lady comes over and she starts playing with it. And she goes, oh, I don't know if I could do it. But she called over her 10-year-old son, and he knocked it out in about 45 yeah. seconds. Man. Yeah. I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm glad Bill wasn't there. Bill would have relentlessly teased me, man. I would have went home crying like a little girl. Yeah, you would. I know you, Bill. There ain't no doubt in my mind, baby. And I want to bring out now to hang out with us a little bit, Mr. Joshua Silverman. How you doing, Josh? Very well, sir. Thank you. Good evening. You know, it's pretty cool, man, that, that Gino brought all you guys out there to support that. Oh, I thought that a, was top notch. Such an honor for Joe and the family to have us as their guests. And it was it was a great opportunity to come out and meet so many amazing people, um, you know, shake hands with so many players that were there to have an amazing time. It, the weather was perfect. The field was amazing. The people were perfect. I mean, you, you just can't ask for a better weekend of just feel good paintball. And that's what it's all about. Uh, we were blessed for that weekend. There's no doubt about it, you know, and especially no rain. You know, I, I don't know. I probably could have did without the 93 degree heat. But other than that, you know, it was, uh, yeah, you you should have put on some of them uniforms and went out there, Josh. Yeah, I got to tell you. You know, Believe the good news is I lost, about, I lost about 12 pounds. So I bet you I, I bet you did. I tell you what, it was toasty out there. It's it's bad enough when, you know, a southern boy flies out to Illinois. Yeah. And it's hotter <laughs> where he was going than when he left. Yeah. Well, I'm at my brother's house now, you know, and it was like 72 degrees today, and I got a jacket on. So, <laughs> well, he just revealed the secret location, man. What's yeah. going on? Yeah. Yeah. A little, a little embarrassed about it. You know, he's been teasing me all day, walking around in his shorts and his cutoff shirt, but I, I can take it. I got, I'm thick skinned. So, uh, but, you know, I, real quick, I'm going to start with Jamie. Jamie, you brought a lot of young guns there. Um, yep. You know, you, you have what, like five or six of them kids there? I uh, think there was six. Yeah. Hey, Jennifer Montressor's watching us, everybody. Hey, Jennifer. You would have been very proud, Jennifer, of Jamie. The people that he, the kids that he brought, these kids were not just great players off the field. That's that's what I base a lot of stuff on, is once you step off that field, I don't care how good you are on the field, it's how good you are for the sport off the field. Those kids were so cool. Yeah. Absolutely cool. I just absolutely loved it. There, and there Chris was, Denny's watching too, right on. There were no chins down. They were they were all smiles, having fun. And uh we talked about this before, but the stories back at camp when we're all sitting around, you know, hot dogs, couple beers, whatever, and the kids are over there talking about their war stories, man. It was just uh <laughs> it was great. Well, you know, getting to meet them was uh it was just great. I can't even begin to tell you. I, you know. I, I'm with the Hermans out in California. I, I yeah. love the Hermans, but I, you know, Jennifer, she does so much for, you know, Mont yeah. Montressor's Marauders yeah. and then the other team that she has. And then, you know, you building up teams and, and there's another one, uh, there's a couple more from back East now that I'm going to start mentioning in weeks to come, because yeah. I think we have, uh, 
really got the ball rolling on that. Good. I, I think I think uh, Mark Gong and Michael Beard with the Hermans, they just, you know, Mark just started with his kids. Yeah. And you should see that. Now you go out there and there's just tons of parents and all kinds of kids. And they got uniforms, they're getting sponsors and everything like that. They're having success too, you know, following them on oh, Facebook. They're doing buddy, great. Buddy, you, Jamie, you got to watch these kids play. Yeah. It's, it, it, it'll blow you away. They are okay. unbelievable. Just very, very good. But again, when they come off the field, they'll they're smiling. They're never griping about anything. You want to talk to them? They'll talk to you with no problems. Just uh, everything about it is just absolutely great. Yeah. I, I, I mean, absolutely love it. Them just being in the sport itself and interested. You know, like when we first got there, obviously I went and said hi to Bill because he's a local guy and, and we're friends. And the museum's there. Kenny was running the museum and whatnot. And them going around while I was talking to Bill and Kenny, they're going around looking at all the cool guns, coming back. You know, it, that, that's an experience. They'll never forget that. They'll always have that. And, and they'll learn a little bit at the same time, not just about playing the game, but the game itself. So. Yeah, I enjoyed talking to them an awful lot. They, they were all smiles when they, they came over to the table and we were yeah. talking. And, uh, you know, I wish we had a little bit better feed, but, you know, it is what it is. But what I'd like to do, you know, in the coming weeks is have you gather them up. And sure. uh, we're going to do another Young Guns show. Sure. And I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do a, a group with you, a group with Jennifer, and then a group with Mark and Mark Gong and Michael Bearden. Awesome. And I think that would be just an absolute cool show um, because the kids are great. Yeah, they're great. You know, and your kids that you brought were, just, and they were so polite. You know, when all the awards and stuff were going on, they stood right there. It, just everything about it was great. Thank you. And uh, I, th I think that reflects a lot off of you. And their, and me and their parents, you know, the, these these guys come from uh, good families too. You know, they're uh, they're just awesome. They're, there's yeah. nothing else to say. I mean, all of them. And there's some kids we got up north. Uh, Nolan, very good kid. He played in the uh, Illinois Players Open on one of our uh, our teams. Grown men. Uh, I think he's like 12 years old. We call him the kid now because he just – he hung out there. He's the last guy alive. I mean, he was having a blast, man. And, and he's he wants to, like, really move forward with this uh, sport and get more into tournament paintball and stuff like that. So we're excited, man. It's, it's just fun. Well, you know, we're, you know, just like Bill and I talk, you know, uh, separately, we could all do something to bring the kids up and we could all do something separately for paintball. But if we work collectively, yeah. we can kick butt. And that's yeah. what that's what I see doing right now, you know. Um, that's why I wanted you on tonight. I want to keep bringing you in the fold. I think that uh, I think that you're good for the sport. Number one, number Thank two, I, I I think that the, the way you bring the kids in is absolutely great. I just uh, I love it. I really really do. Don't you, Bill? What do you think of those kids over there, Billy? Oh uh, well, I've seen them at other events. I've seen them at Tories events and yeah, you know, Wildcat and everything. And every event I've ever seen Jamie and his guys at, the kids are first. Got lining them all out, making sure they've all got good gear, they're all working, and it just it blows my mind. I just you know the work that he does over at Extreme, you know, is just incredible, and um, you know it's I've watched it grow, you know, and you know it's awesome, Jamie. You've done an awesome job. Again, that I'm, I may be the face of that, but that's collectively yeah. it's our team, yeah. you know. Yeah, it's a team. Yeah. But yes, thank you. It, it's always a team effort, just like I just said, you know, yeah. I just. You know, it's like the band, you know, each one of us in the band could go do something and do something good for paintball. But when the band comes together and we all go together to do something, yeah. that is, you know, that's just not just the happening, but that's a memory for an awful lot of people, including me. You know, I've known Bud Orr for 35 years. I've known Dan Colby for 35 years, you know, and I still get giddy hanging around with these damn guys. Yeah. I absolutely love it. You know, it's it. It's it. All right, Bill. <laughs> it, it, it showed this weekend. It showed yeah. this weekend. All you guys had a blast. And, and for us, you know, as, as players, we, you guys are legends to us. So, you know, get, I, I, there was a point where I was out there with Tim, I think Chip, Dan Kobe, John, Tori, all of us running through the woods, you know, it was great. Yep. It was great. I, I absolutely loved it. And Josh, you, know, you didn't get to play this weekend, but you worked, uh, you know, everybody knows that, that I loved elk. 
Okay, everybody knows that, and and I like I like all the sports stores. So I, you know, I, I never have a, I never just zero in on one. But you know what I zero on and Belkin about is Gino, because you know Gino does so much for the sport. You know, and, and and does he does he make money? Yeah, you know he's not in the business to lose money. Anybody is. Yeah, I, I, you'd be stupid to think that. But what he does is the stuff that the people don't see, the extra things that he does for paintball and for people in paintball. All by himself, I think is terrific, and uh, you, you get to hang with him all the time. And uh, tell us a little bit about you know because you had a good trip with him. It was an amazing trip, and it was all about paintball. You know, Mr. Gino is our esteemed leader, and he's a very hands-on leader of the Balkan company and the Balkan family and the Balkan team. And he pulled us together and said, "Hey, we're going to go out there, and we're going to you know we're going to meet some people, and we're going to show them." our appreciation for what it is that they do, whether that's a player who is a customer at the end of the day who spends their hard-earned money on playing the game of paintball, buying the paintballs, buying the gear, and, and, and doing the thing that it is that they love. Well, we're grateful for every single one of them or the field owners who are in the trenches every single day keeping this game alive, every single event, every single paintball that's fired. They're keeping the new players safe. They're bringing new players into the game. They're running these events that we go to. And this was a perfect example is that we all – we all climbed aboard and we came out to to show our love and our appreciation for it. And we wanted to put our our literally put our boots on the ground and 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 come out and be a part of something very special. And I was I was honored to be a part of that. Yeah, but you know that's a big thing. Uh, you know, for for people in the industry that are, are are big in the industry to come out and do that. You know, like Bud Orff being a general, Dan Colby being a general. Come on, those are two two big industry guys, and oh, yeah. didn't think nothing about it coming out there. <laughs> and uh, like I say, you just can never say enough about what they do. But you know, I put Gino in that same group. You know, Gino didn't get out there and bang away, but like I say, what Gino does behind the scenes is, is absolutely terrific, and he helps out so so many people. He really, really does. Well, and he's, uh, he's a family person, and he and you know, if if you're a part of his family, you're well taken care of, and you know, we we all just love the game of paintball it's been a blessing to my life and it's been a blessing to his life and he's he's blessed it back as much as he can and he continues to and it's an opportunity for for him for me for all of us to uh to work hard and put back into the game and that's a, a prime example of that was was us coming out this weekend and, and having an amazing time at, at at paintball to go for this incredible monte casino game and and his little daughter eugenia some of the pictures he was putting on there are just priceless. Yeah, I mean, that guy's got to have like a 180 degree smile when he looks oh, at that it, little girl. It's it's amazing. <laughs> it's, all, it's I love that it's all he wants to talk about. You know, she's she's the most precious little thing you've ever seen in your whole life. Oh, she she uh, the pictures are just adorable. I, I I could not have been happier for him. You know, I I think that meant more to him than probably anything out there. And, uh, you know, she had to have an operation immediately, you know, within a couple of days, she had to have a heart operation. So I, I know the paintball community was praying very hard and everything just came through perfect for it. So it was very, very cool. So yeah, we'll get back to Gina in a little bit. But, you know, I'm going to jump up to Kenny here real quick because, you know, you know, Bill, he has a, an awesome museum. I mean, you know, I mean. I can't even put it into words, you know. I walked through and looked at all the markers he had set up, which he said wasn't all of them. And I come out of there and I got a scab on my chin from my jaw dragging on the ground, you know. It was just absolutely beautiful. And and then you brought yours up. Chica Strata's watching too. I, I got to stop and say hi to Chica Strata. Chica Strata is a guy that has watched this show I, I think from the very beginning, and uh, uh, terrific guy. I'm looking forward some time to, to linking up with him. Chica's actually the name of his dog. Estrada is his actual name. Um, so, but I got I like your dog too. So it all, it all works out, man. You're very very cool. And Stefan Santorsola, help me with somebody. <laughs> Don't be on. So, anyhow, like these guys are watching. But Kenny, you put together your your setup. For, and it was all Tipman, but your trailer came and opened right up. What a trick operation. It, what a trick trick thing to put together like that. When I got there and I seen that and hooked the Bill's Museum, I'm like, oh, yeah, that cool. was so cool. So you put that together yourself, though, right? Yeah, it's uh, taken me a few months, but uh, I 
need something easy to move around and uh, hold all the gear and put it on display uh, and uh, something to make the Tipmans look pretty nice compared to what they are dirty, dirty and rugged. Oh, that was uh, an absolute terrific collection. But I tell you, one of them, I got to tell everybody about this. One of them that blew me away was one that operated on propane. Am I correct? Yeah, the, uh, the Tipman C3 was a uh, Coleman fuel or green gas uh, pump marker, uh, shortly lived, but you can get yeah. that thing. Yep, it's and like that. It uh, gets about 50,000 shots for one tank of fuel. and uh, That's what blew me away when you said that. I, I thought you, you made a mistake and, and you were talking about 5,000. No, no it, <laughs> it, uh, it was shortly lived, but it was a pretty cool idea. Wow. Well, how, I wonder how many of those they made, do you know? Uh, well, uh, Josh may know since he uh, he had a small small hand in it, but uh, uh, I, oh, he I did, did he? I I guesstimate uh, three to four thousand exist, maybe. Oh wow, that's quite a few. Yeah, I just uh, I wonder why they stopped making them. Maybe just because of the safety, because of uh, the propane. They were considered a firearm because they use combustion. Um, it. So it has an explosion. So a lot of fields are in city limits and you can't have firearms. So it's kind of a short lived product and uh, it's kind of temperamental with the weather and the gas is changing. So Got it was it. just problematic and considered a firearm. And it was a good concept though. Well, you've seen a lot of people go through the museum. Um, I sat there with you for a while and I've seen a lot of people go through yours and through Bill's yeah. and the attitude seemed pretty cool. Everybody loved it. It seemed like everybody was excited to find a piece, even if they weren't super familiar with it or wanted to learn a ton about it. They they pick a piece or two out that they've either used or seen or thought they were it was unique or had a question about. Uh, we had a little uh, goblin there, pistol sitting out on a table, and uh, I can't tell you how many people wondered how it worked and what it was, and they'd never seen such a thing. And several people wanted one. So yeah, that thing got a lot of attention. Everybody that came in and just yeah. had their draw on the ground dragging as they looked at everything from from bill's remarkable collection and yours on the way out their eyes would just go right down to that table where that goblin was what is that <laughs> yep. yeah yeah uh, steven stan i'll butcher his name stan <laughs> George sola gumby gumby he was out there yeah I, I know yeah I, I hate to call him gumby i like to call him by his first name because <laughs> you, you call him gumby i guess only the people that would know him would say that which <laughs> he's a terrific guy uh, you know, I just, uh, the, the suit, <laughs> the clown suit that he had on was just, uh, I don't know, it was just hilarious, period. You know, and when, and when the introductions and stuff were going on, he had his little horn. <laughs> it was just great. But he said Bill had an awesome display. And Bill, how long did it take you to put that together? You know, I know you've been working on that for, what, a gazillion years? It's years. I, I've been collecting them since 84. How many How many do you think you had on the racks at that at that uh, tournament. On the racks, there was probably over 250, 275, at least. Wow, and you probably got more than that though, right? There's over 100 in here that weren't even there. It so, didn't go, huh? Wow. And, there's, and I didn't bring almost 50 Titmans because I knew Kenny was bringing the cream of the crop, so I didn't- Yeah, he, he, he had the equipment pretty well surrounded. Oh yeah, yep. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, Keith Kissel said that you were a little green ball of clay when you started collecting. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I go back a little bit. I'd say a big ball of clay. Yeah. We got Mark Gong watching too. You know, Mark, I mentioned you a couple of times already, you and Michael Beard and the Hermans. And uh, you know, we got Jamie on tonight and, and Jamie had uh, some of his kids there this last weekend and uh, you would have loved it. I mean these kids were just like the Herman kids. They they were just, first of all, they rocked out there. You know, when you see these little guy, guys out there all dressed up, running around playing, it just it just blows you away. They're so well, good. But I then actually, off the field, they were so polite and so nice. Go ahead, Jamie. Yeah. I'm I, sorry. Here. I actually just, uh, I have never met Mark, but I sent some requests tonight in hopes that maybe we can coordinate some ideas and stuff. And oh, kind of like you that. mentioned earlier collectively just, have a, a community behind us all, you know, so. I, I just had an idea. I, I'm, I'm thinking East versus West. <laughs> I think they ought to be playing against your guys' team down there at Timsfield. 
Yeah, well, yeah, we're, we're, we're working on, Tim and I are working on that East versus West. You oh, know, Kevin cool. Donaldson's the one that called me out, oh, yeah. and I told him, let's go, baby. You know, that'd be cool. That just, that just kind of fell out now. But then Tim, when we were at the at the big game this last week, and Tim goes, Fred, we got to do that East West. I, I says, I'm here. I'm ready to go, period. And Mark, you know, Mark and I go back a long, long ways. You know, Mark played on my team, Constant Pursuit. I had Mark on my television show. Um, when we did the show for uh, ESPN at, at Disney, Mark was there. So, Mark, um, do me a favor, because um, I know you're watching. I see you on here, buddy. Get a hold of Jamie and uh, uh, talk to him, because I told everybody that the way I feel and the way I see all of this, you and Michael Beard, you you actually started with your, your two sons, Mark Jr. and Jalen. And you guys, uh, it, it's built into just a phenomenal group you guys got now. It's just uh, incredible with all the parents and everything like that. And, uh, you know, I'm proud as hell of you. You know that. But get a hold of Jamie. Um, yeah, he will. Yeah, okay, well, uh, Mark will. Mark's, uh, Mark's a good guy. Matter of fact, if you can get a hold of him while we're talking, it would be pretty cool. So um, I think, they, did, he, did you friend him? Has he friended you yet? I did. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. You friended him? Yep. Okay. And Mark, to get a chance, I get a hold of him because this is a good guy to work with. I think, uh, you know, I think you should put an organization together for the kids across the United States, you know, and just uh, make everybody work together to, to build that up. And because, uh, you know, us old guys, we're going to keep playing paintball. You know, we're going to yep. probably keep playing paintball till till it's done. It, it's real simple. And, and the guys that are a little younger than us, they're going to keep playing paintball, too. But the youngsters, they, you know, they're the ones who really don't have the the control to go do this by themselves. Yep. You know, they they need the helping hand. They need the mentor. They they need a ride to the field. You know, I mean, it's just, it's yeah. just, it's just all kinds of stuff that goes with it. And and I think that uh, you guys all get together and you work on something along with Jennifer because you know Jennifer's huge into it too. I, I think it would be great to start some kind of a kids organization. That where you guys would would all sit and you know not so much get together because you don't live in the same place, but you know swap ideas. Sure. You know, and uh, you swap ideas, and that what would eventually make everything better for everybody. You know, and especially the kids. I agree. Yeah, Mark will get a hold of you. Watch. I'm hoping you'll do it before the show's over. I'm sure uh, he will. And and yeah. I have some ideas yeah, I'd like more. to bounce uh, back across him too. Just something in my head that. I don't know it's a waste of time or not. So having somebody who has shown success with this, you know, they're out there playing tournaments with the Hermans and whatnot. And winning tournaments. Success, I'm winning I'm interested. tournaments. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you got, like I say, you got to see his sons. His sons are no joke. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, they're no joke, you know, <laughs> period. They're, uh, they're terrific, terrific players. You were going to say something, Josh? Yeah. Uh, uh, Tim oh, called me because he tried, he tried to call, he tried to call you, Fred. Oh, did he really? Yeah, but uh, somebody call me back. Oh, okay. I'll put um, him on. He, he's watching the show. He's uh, <laughs> he's thinking that the uh, the East versus West game needs to be you versus me. <laughs> what 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 side do you want? I mean, you know, because we were making a split. Remember, Dan Kobe said he didn't care where the line was drawn. He was going to play on my side, yeah. and I would have Bud Dan. So. Uh, Oh yeah, I mean, I just, yeah. I just say oh, we yeah. just split. I just say we split the United States in half. You know? Oh yeah, uh, but, but see, you're, you're on this side of the United States. That's oh problem. no, we'll, we'll be the metric system. We'll move it over <laughs> a little bit. I mean, I'll, 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 hang I'll, on. Do it, I'll do it, but you got to move to New Jersey for a month. Oh, that I'm was originally a, from I, Chicago. I know what that meant. I'm originally from Chicago, so I'll, I'm, I'm back with bands. You know, down okay. there. Oh, okay, I, I can live with that. Okay, so you know, whenever you want to start talking trash, hey, let me know. We're we're, we're it's on. We'll do it. Right. Well, and speaking we of all with, I think with Jamie's kids, I think we could take out you know, the, the Ironman kids and you and everybody Mr. else. Mr. Tim Schloss is on. How you doing, Timmy? Watch out. Hey, everything's good, man. Recovering from the weekend. Oh come on, you look great shape. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, man. I got the whole day tomorrow. <laughs> hey, 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 I got an idea on this East West game. Me and Bill been talking. How about uh, the Hermans play for the West and Jamie's guys play for the East? Oh, that Let's would spice be. Spice it up a little. Let's I, spice it up a little. I would love it. That'd be terrific. I think but the I, kids would love it. Oh, they would absolutely you love know? it. Yeah, you know, that's something that oh, you know what and. 
that's something that would draw some cool, serious Mark. attention. Yep. Serious attention. Yeah, I think we can have a lot of fun with it. Mark, Mark says he's in. Yep. Well, there it is. Uh, we can. I think I might see you maybe later this week, and you and I can sit down, and uh, if we can get Bill to come up, we can chat it out, and we can get this thing locked down pretty quick. Bill said he'd come if you feed him. <laughs> oh, I can't do that. Yeah, I just didn't. That's expensive. I had, feed, I, had feed, I had to feed Gumby and me and Gene and uh, Bud on, on Monday, man. I'm still not recovered from that day. Oh, my gosh. That was like a skip. You get a second job to do that. I'm telling you, man, Gumby, Gumby was the smallest of the bunch. Of the guy, I mean, I've never seen it. Man, he can eat. <laughs> he's tall, though. Yeah, he, he, he can put it away. Uh, he's a, I tell you, we had a great bunch of guys here. Kenny Stewart. Man, that's that's the new secret weapon, man. That guy never stopped working. No, he didn't, and he's so polite too. You know, no, not, nothing like guy. the rest of us. I had some <laughs> no, no, no. We need we, we'll, we'll corrupt him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I had a lot of time up there, man. And uh, this guy's getting to know Jamie a little bit better. And it was yeah. the first time I met Kenny. For, that was actually the first time I seen the museum, and it blew me away. Yeah. Well, you know, we're, we're talking about putting a big game together out here um, uh, at one of the, the big paintball fields up here up north uh, uh, next year. Yeah, I would I would hope you would come because, you know, we want all the big guys there. And you're definitely one of them, Tim. You can thank you know, Terry for that. She made you. Yeah, there's a whole lot bigger names out there. Yeah, you can thank Terry for that. She made you something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You know, you know. I'll tell you something, Gino, Gino gave me a call today, we talked for quite a bit, and I'll tell you something, what a, man, he, his head and heart is in this deal. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. No, I mean, you know, I mean, I've known him, I've done business with him, and had him as a customer, and I've had him as a supplier, and just as a friend for 30 years, I mean, rock solid, just, just, if, if you're not doing business with him, you're just nuts. Yeah, yeah, he's a great guy, and, and you know, I talk about him every show, but I, I talk about you every show, too. Some of it's good. He shipped me out my. Uh, I get my arena tomorrow for the uh, for the gel blasters. It's, uh, he called me and told me to be here tomorrow. So we're going to be in the gel blaster business maybe by the weekend. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah we're going to. Uh, I'm going to be down there Thursday. So you, you know, maybe we can set it up. I can check out some of it. I'd like to do that. I'd love to. I'd love to have you. Here. Bud and uh, me and Gene and Gumby, they all came to the field. We spent about an hour and a half walking the fields and everything, and, you know, so they got to see the place. So Cool. You know, you know I'm, think, I'm thinking about, uh, you know, talking to everybody about bringing Gumby in. Um, you know, I think he, he might be a good member. He's a pretty good guy. What a character. Every time he talked that hard, it made me laugh. I, I got to tell you, he, he, you know, I'll tell you something. The first time I met Gumby, I, I went to the uh, east or the north south game in California. And this is uh, over a year ago when I first got back into it. And I took my mag out there and my mag didn't work. So he comes right up to me and he goes, Well, let me work on it. And so he takes it and he gives me another mag so I can go play. So I'm out there banging away. I come back, I about I played for about two hours, and I come back and he is still trying to get this valve apart. It had been sitting for so many years that he and it's still not apart. I just put it on the shelf and love it. You know? And, yeah, but this guy, that's when I met him. Him and a guy named Roman. These guys yeah. worked their butts off on it. And uh, good so good nothing guys. but respect. But you know, I'm gonna talk to all you guys. Uh, I you know, because there's a group of us that collectively have to agree to put somebody on the band. But uh Yeah. Well, you know, he was a, tell you what, I've, uh, I've been thinking of a much better choice. I mean, he was really, he, I really enjoyed him. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah. I, I hear you're going to dress like him next time. Is that true? <laughs> I'll take that as a no. <laughs> yeah, well, when you get here on Thursday, I'm going to show you I got my three prototypes that uh, some stuff that I'd like you to take a look at, and uh, we'll oh, see what happens. What we talked about? Uh, we'll talk about it. Sounds good, brother. All right. Well, look, I'll let you guys get back to the show, but tell everybody on the shit's on there tonight, man. I really, I had a blast. It was a pleasure being around all of them, and I really look forward to seeing everybody again yeah. soon. You just told them, and you give Terry a, a hug for us, and tell tell Melissa hi. It was so good to see her. I couldn't believe it. Oh yeah, those kids of hers are a blast, aren't they? Oh, unbelievable! <laughs> and so so is she. She's she's a doll. You did a good job. We'll, we'll get the guys up there soon, uh, Tim. So. Thanks, Freddie. We'll see you guys later. All right, buddy. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.
you know, the, the problem I got with that, Jamie, is uh, you can hear him, but he can't yeah. hear you. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh, I'm calling him again. <laughs> <laughs> so, Josh, did you bring the jelly ball to Monte Casino? No, no. Uh, there, there were a Sorry, handful Jim, of people. Hang up on me. There were true believers that were there that simply brought it with them because they just fell in love with the concept and wanted to show as many people as they could. And it certainly helped us that they were willing to do that. Yeah. Um, you know, fact of the matter is that is, I'm just, I'm head over heels for it as a, as a, as a gateway to paintball and as a way to provide paintball businesses with a chance to grow yeah. and to bring a new generation of young people into the game. So the more we can do to, to, to push that obviously and help the rest of the sport grow along the way, um, it's going to be a big part of the future. I have, uh, I have four sons and uh, one of them's turning six next weekend. So in this household, paintball is a sport. I mean, it's a, it's almost a religion. We all love it. We watch it. Um, for him, he's not quite ready to play yet. So at Monte Casino, this was an opportunity to see what he he loved it. There so it is. next weekend, we're going to uh, Wildcat, a local field that has it. And uh, he's got some of his friends, the older brothers are coming to. And they've got games planned out already. Um, not only, you know, for guys like us who go, he's always tagging along. He was at Monte Casino with us this is an outlet for him to still play yeah. paintball while we're playing, you know, and this is cool. Uh, I, I love it. And I, he's going to have a blast out there at Wildcat too. The, the, the field that they've built out there, especially exclusively for the, yes. for the gel blaster is going to yeah. be great. Yeah. Um, yeah. You guys are going to have an amazing time out there and cool. just the opportunity for more people to fall in love with the game that we all love and have given yeah. so much of our lives to. That's yeah. what it's all about. Isn't it? It is. Yeah. And, you know, I got to mention them because there, there's Jelly Ball and, and then you guys have the Gel Blaster, too. So, you know, John Tankerley, you know, he has his setup also. Um, both very, very good setups. Uh, I, I got to see some of the videos that uh, Belkin shot with theirs. And they've got some things to hook on these markers that, that make them look like tracers that yeah. were absolutely cool. I the hopper you know, that's are on the way. They'll be oh here soon. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're on the way, and you'll be able to put a an actual, you know, our, our gotcha hopper right on top of the gel blaster surge. And now, now you've got the flip lid, and you'll be able to actually pull a pod and drop. I mean, yeah. it's it's so special. It's just well, you know, what blew me away is you know we had Will Bergan on on with us last week, and yeah. uh, which I got to tell you, we got a lot of views on that. So yeah, I, I guess people yeah, like yeah, uh, Josh. I don't know what it is. Anyhow, but when he held up that bag, the bag was this big. And he has 175,000 rounds in it. Yep. And you can afford them. <clears throat> I, I can just, afford them. That, that just was amazing. You know, I just, uh, first I thought he, <laughs> he, you know, didn't say it right, but then he held up the little 35,000 rounds. Yes. He's going, oh my God, you got to be kidding me. People aren't going to be dumping soap into fountains anymore. <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, that's a great idea. I mean, uh, that's a possibility. I mean, never mind. Yeah, yeah, Ben Allen. They'll figure it out on their own. Yeah, People ben are going to try. What the hell is that? Us, so. yeah, I, I think it's somebody something. should do that at the Fountain at Cup this year. Yeah, I think it's something that's going to be big. Actually, um, I, I think it's going to. I think it's it's like in its infancy. Inf it's at the beginning, you know. Um, it, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm still working on that, you know. Like tonight, we're having turkey, uh, but anyhow, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm breaking in a new tongue. Okay, <laughs> Bill is so hard on me, uh, but anyhow, um, yeah, I think it's like paintball was at the beginning. I, I think that that uh, the jelly ball thing is going to grow big time, and what really, really blew me away was the target range, you know, with the sides and everything like that. That's something that you could get and, and just take to any type of a party, any type of a kid's party. Because, you know, you don't have to set up any type of a field or anything. You set this up and the kids will go nuts doing that. Well, that's that's one of the things that I'm really, I mean, obviously I'm, I'm pretty obvious by now that I'm excited about the whole concept, but obviously okay. for, for the longest, we've struggled with the concept that whatever paintball was, we had to bring the people to us so that you could fall in love with the game. I know all about people, that, Josh. People have, worked, <laughs> people have worked really hard to do that. You know, now with that target range, with the with the inflatable basis of it and the amenities that it provides, these paintball businesses that have worked so hard have an opportunity to take 
their business to the customers. Right. And that's, you know, it can only touch more people. It can only open more eyes to what it is that we do and the positivity of it and, and help us grow. Well, like I said, I think it's a gateway to people. Amen. You know, it's, it's a gateway to people. You know, it's going to, uh, you're going to play that and then you're going to get to a point where you're just going to want to go play paintball. Yep. That's all there is to it. What do you think, Kenny? I think it's a great, uh, a great uh, product to bring the younger kids in. There's always, you're always looking for things for those kids to do like, uh, Jamie son that's out there hanging out with all of us and uh, he can't really participate with the rest of us, but, uh, being able to get out there and demo some of those jelly, jelly blasters, uh, I think he really had a great time, and I think there were several other younger kids there that were super excited to try it out, and uh, it wasn't uh, it was something that they could do and uh, really introduce them and feel like they're part of the part of the group. Absolutely, I, I know I've got one on the way. Um, I hope it's there when I get home. I'm Josh, uh, but uh, <laughs> no names, no names, no names. And besides, you'd blame it on Will anyhow. So, I, I, I can neither confirm nor deny <laughs> that it might be Will's fault. <clears throat> um, yes, there you go, <laughs> Bill. You got yes. to play with you got to play with that jelly blaster, didn't you, Jelly Blaster? I, no, I did. I I still haven't had a chance to to check oh, you it out. Haven't? Really? Oh, yeah. I thought you I thought you got to see it. I know you were running around. You were. I, busy, I, but... I got to hold it. But I didn't get to shoot it or do anything. Oh, okay. And it acts like he was busy all weekend. <sighs> yeah, he was. So yeah, absolutely. I, I could Just, have found time to sneak it in there somewhere. I'll tell you he, what, Bill. If you come next Sunday to Wildcat, you can play my six-year-old one-on-one. <laughs> Careful. You know what? That, it that's my that's butt. not a good idea. That's not a good idea. You know, <laughs> and that, that, that can work both ways. You know, the I get it. Beats, the, he beats you, and you're going to say you got beat by a six-year-old. I know. It's like you great. him. You got to say, oh, you got a six-year-old. Six it's not a win-win either way. Yeah. <laughs> Take pictures. Yeah. Thanks, right? Yeah. Oh my God, that would be hilarious. Are we getting some action going on this? We got like 20s that we're putting in, or what's going on? Yeah, I got a five on it. Um, oh, I'm, Jamie, right. I'm Jamie right. Sutton. Just let's get together after this, and we'll we'll we'll, talk, we'll get a pull. Uh, oh man, yeah, I love Jamie's son, but I'd have to go with Bill. Yeah, oh, I, I, don't mind, I don't mind losing. <laughs> I got you take it. <laughs> you guys, you guys know Chip Kurt. Oh yeah, and yeah. his wife Diane. Yeah, he uh he he actually gave me some stuff for the museum, and uh, one of them was a set of the yellow referee vents. That you that you used, Fred, at the uh, well, this, um, yeah, yep. and he also gave me the complete set of uh, of these cards. Yep, watch out. The, that's the original, uh, yep, paintball cards. I have a couple sets myself. Yeah, what's what's amazing is how many people we know that are in these yeah. cards. Yeah, well, the, yep. the sets when the sets first came out, Bill, they were just about everybody that was on the professional teams back in that day. Yeah. This, I, a lot of these names, I, they just seem familiar for some reason. I'm yep. trying, to, trying to figure it out, but maybe maybe it'll come to me. But uh, someone's someone's in the set twice. Uh, he asked me to be. He asked me to be. He he says he said I just need something to make me look better. I go all right. I'll stand in with you. So, <laughs> okay, that's a lie. But what, what, it was cool. He did ask me though. He did ask yeah. me. So yeah. yeah. As a matter of fact, who else was it? Wasn't there three of us in that, Billy? Yeah, there's three or four. Yeah. There's no, there's three of us. Oh, yeah. in that card. You know, one was your thumb. <laughs> yeah. That was my thumb. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> there was three. Yeah, there's three. Yeah, I, I know, I know. Yeah, there was uh, Chip, myself, and I can't remember who the third person was. Maybe yeah. Dennis. I don't know. Maybe Dennis. Who's that? Dirk Gadbury. Dirk Gadbury. Right yeah. on. You know, Dirk started on Constant Pursuit. He played on Constant Pursuit for a couple of years and then went over to the Ironman. There he Bob, is. Bob Long. The great Bob Long. Long. I, yeah, I used to shoot the heck out of Bob Long. Yeah. We practiced together every weekend. Michael Baird. Yep, Michael Baird. Uh, that is one of the best guys you'll ever want to meet in paintball. Him and Mark Gong, um, they're just nothing short of terrific. Brian Benini. Yep. Uh, oh, Rick, Rick Sandejas. Rick Sandejas. You know, Rick is still a hell of a little player. Yeah. Still fast, a good shot. Uh, 
good friend, uh, terrific guy, really. Is. Who's this guy? I don't know him. I can't read it. Troublemaker. Someone by the name of Dave Cook. I, <laughs> oh, I don't know. I lost track of all the guys laying down like that. Yeah, man. Bill Gardner. <laughs> Bill Gardner. Yeah, I but, appreciate uh, you showing that one. Yeah, that's what's <laughs> up. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah, yeah. Stefan says uh, Rick is awesome. Rick, Rick Sandias is. Uh, that's why I've got Rick on my opening uh, credits when it comes on. I have a picture of him there too because hey, let's he's hosting on costume. Get some yeah. of the East Coast cards out here. Come on, man. <laughs> and there really wasn't any. Don't no. want to. Hey, hey. Oh, he just home. showed you Billy Garner, didn't he? Uh, <laughs> I just showed it's a thumb. thumb. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I know Tommy's in there. Yeah, there you go. Tom Keith Kissel said showed, he's overrated. I showed Tom Cole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tommy's in there. Yeah, I've got the whole, I've got the sets, the complete sets. Uh, because you know I was sponsored by uh, Smart Parts at that time, so they gave me a complete set uh, or three complete sets, and then they gave me uh, a stack of my own cards about like that, and I got about. Half of them left, I think. I just, I actually just sent one to a kid a week and a half ago. He called me up and asked me if I knew where he could get one like that. And I said, yeah, I sure do. So I, I signed it and sent it to him. you guys give away any of your kill cards this weekend? I sure did. I actually I gave my mom one today, too. It was pretty cool. Oh. Yeah. Yes, did she take a picture for you? <laughs> it was, I haven't seen her in three years. It was just, uh, it was absolutely... It was incredible today. I had a very, very good day. I, uh, you know, I, when I tell everybody, you know, I, I'm blessed for my mother. I'm blessed for my family, my brothers here and, and my, my wife and everything like that. And, you know, just like I tell everybody, you know, the people in paintball are something special to me. You know, if I go back and I didn't have paintball all the years that I actually got to play and, and meet these people, I just honestly don't know where, where my life would have led me. Um, it's just been good. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of us feel the same way, you know. Uh, yeah, I was say I think everybody has that same story. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, it was. Uh, it's been great. I just. Uh, I know the best of the best. Uh, that's, that's. I just. Uh, the group that I get to hang with is. I just uh, treasure every one of them. You know. And and like I said, you know, I, I put an article out, Billy. You know that uh, just a, a month and a half ago, and it's I said I felt blessed for not who I am, but for the people that I get to know and the people that I've got to know over the years, and the people that I'm associated with today. You know, um, these are all people that, that love the sport and want to work hard to build a sport. You know, not take from it, but work back into it and, and make it something. So. Yeah. Very, very blessed. Very, very happy. So, wow, you guys really got to me on that one. That was a, that was a good one, man. Yeah. Yeah. I had a hard time making it through that, you know. Yeah. And, uh, I'm a man of many words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. And, and real quick, I got to mention, this fancy shirt I got is from Caesar Pizzola. Caesar sent them down to Bill and. And to everybody, Caesar has ultra silk. Okay? Now it's not a commercial. I say this because Caesar is a very, very good person, and he has a good product. And he's another guy that that not only works hard for paintball, he's just fun to be around. Period. I just, I just love fun people. Everybody knows that. That's yeah. just how I roll. Caesar's That's awesome. Cool. He supports our team, and, and he's uh, sent us some prime suspect um, ultra silk shirts. Uh, barrel bags, stuff we, you know, help with the kids. So and not a plug, like you said, but behind closed doors, he, he's trying to help us as well. So definitely correct there. He's an awesome dude. Yeah, yeah, why, you know, why are we I, shying I, away from plugging good people? What's going on with that? Yeah, well, yeah, you know, plug them. Yeah, plug yeah, them. Yeah. Yeah. Good people, yeah. and they've earned it, and they. You say that because I talk about about Gino all the time. I know plug. how you work. I agree. You're right. <laughs> they should be plugged. Yeah, they should be plugged. You're absolutely right. Yeah, but you know, we don't take. I just don't take any sides when it comes to product. You know, I, everybody has the right to sell their product, and everybody has the right to choose the type of product they use. Personally, I, I would go with, with that. You know, I know uh, Dan Kobe or America, they have a grease, but it's something totally different than than the boom treatment and that stuff too. So everybody's got their own products, you know, and uh, 
I just like everybody to succeed. The more they succeed, the more they're going to push the sport, the more we're going to grow and the happier everybody's going to be, especially the kids are going to be ecstatic because they're going to be taking over a sport that we work very, very hard for. But they will continue to work very, very hard for it, you know. And the kid, all the kids I've met so far, attitudes are two thumbs up. Yeah. Absolutely great. Just there. John and Dan, they su they support us as well. So we're surrounded. Our team's lucky. Like you said, you're blessed. We're blessed with great sponsors. Yeah. Um, well, you know, you're probably going to get more now, too, you know. They, yep. You know, Jamie <laughs> – I don't even know how to put it in the words here, and that's pretty strange for me. But, you know, what you've done to bring those those kids up is the same thing that I watched Mark do. And I watched Mark do this from the beginning. I watched yeah. Mark take take Mark Vaughn Jr. out there and start playing. And and then it, it just started snowballing. And then you got Jaden in, Jalen in, and it just snowballed. You go out there now, you should see not just all the kids, but all the parents there. And they're hustling around, and they're all so proud and so happy. And yeah. It, it's just something that's absolutely great. That's what you've been doing. Yeah. I, I seen it on those kids' faces this last weekend. One of the parents, uh, Cannon, the longer hair kid, he won the Young Guns Award. He's out there right in the front lines, you know, sliding in the ditches. Uh, he He's so passionate about the sport. He talked to it with his mom and dad all the time. His dad's now playing again. He used to play years ago, went and bought a full setup. He was at Monty. He had a blast. He's like, when's the next event, you know, so – that's cool. Uh, kids are growing the sport as they, well. So all, it, those, it, all those kids were great. They really, really yeah. were. And uh, hey, I like what you texted me. You told me the next day they were still smiling. They were. Uh, and and uh, I thought that was outstanding. I, they I were. really, really did. So, all right, Jamie, I'm going to start with you. I'm going to let you say goodbye to everybody. Hey, pleasure meeting some of you guys. Josh, I'm probably going to reach out to you as well for some things. Uh, I look forward to it. Yeah, Fred, thank you. I'll be in touch. I'll keep following the show, yourself, everything. Thank you very much. Appreciate uh, it. Bill, yes, that's I'll, see you, I'll see you this weekend, Saturday. Yeah, I'll, see, I'll see you Saturday, Jamie. It's gonna Take be it easy on us. Yep. We're just going to have fun. We that's, can care less what happens. I, speaking of young guns, Julian, my 10-year-old, he's he's playing. He's on one of our teams. So uh, I'm going for the experience of playing with uh, him and my oldest son. So. Outstanding. Yeah. And Kenny, uh, you got an awesome Tipman collection, man. Thank you, sir. Thank Very you. cool. Very cool. Keep up the good work with your kids there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank all you. All right, guys. Jimmy. You have a good evening, buddy. And say hi Thank to you. all the kids for me, will you please? We'll do. We'll do. All right, sir. All yeah. right. Bye now. Mr. Jamie Conley, um, uh, a gentleman that I'm I'm actually very, very happy to know and works extremely hard for for paintball and bringing all these kids into it. It's just great. It really, really so Josh, you did Gino good tonight. He's going to be proud of you. I, I, it's not about doing good. It's it's just about being good to the game, being good to the sport, and about paying it forward. That's that's what it's all about. Being being there for the people who keep the game alive. I mean, that's not that's not anything right. out of the ordinary from a normal day for us. It really right. isn't. Right. Yeah, working hard though to, to even even promote products and stuff like that is still trying to better the sport. You know, because every time you come out with a better product, it, it just helps the sport. And uh, like I say, you know, I, I watched you. You you definitely made the rounds last week, and you did uh, you did your company very very proud. It was it was just a pleasure to meet. I mean, because I had never had the uh, the opportunity to visit that field before. Right, and you neither. always hear about the great games. You always hear about the great field, and this was just just such a perfect opportunity to go there and to meet so many great paintball players. To shake their hands, to look them in the eye, and hear their experiences, and just just enjoy an amazing event with them. That's that's what this is all about. It's that's it's the first time you and I got to really sit and talk. How about that? That's yeah. my honor and my pleasure. Oh, it was mine too. It, it really, really was. Josh, did you get to see the Abbey and the Ridge? I never, I never even made it. <laughs> I know that's just all the reason I got to go back out there and bring my gear. There you go. Absolutely. Next year. Next year, right. that's right. Yeah, yeah June will bring you back next year. I'll, I'll be working on them. I'll work on them all year long. I ain't gonna be a stranger. <laughs> not right not good people, not to a great place. Well, you have a good. You have a good evening now. Thank you so much. <laughs> all right, it's my pleasure. All right, that was Mr. Josh Silverman from uh, works for Belkin for Gino from Belkin. Josh is a great guy, isn't he, Billy? Oh yeah, yeah. He's always and, been a good guy. Yeah, I can't, you know, I can never say enough about the guy. He, uh, Gino, if you're listening yet, he makes 
he does your company proud. He honestly, honestly does. He does your company proud. And you know, um, Kenny, you do Chipman proud. You do <laughs> Chipman day. very, very proud. You know, the way the way you came up, the setup that you had and everything like that, I was extremely impressed with it. Uh, I hear Bill's going to start building a trailer out of a, uh, or a, the same trailer out of a boat trailer. Yeah, that's possible. Oh, okay. Yeah, you never know. I'd, I'd be happy to work with Bill on something like that because, you know, taking uh, the way you had it to unfold that and everything like that is, I, I mean, that, my head exploded when I seen yeah. it. And then, but Bill's going to be a little bit larger scale, obviously. Um, you know, he's, we could have uh, a semi trailer. Yeah, well, you know, you know what I was thinking is we get a, and I just got rid of one too. I had a 30 foot fifth wheel that I just gave to a guy for 500 bucks because I didn't want it anymore. And, uh, <laughs> We could have took that and made it so the sides folded out because Kenny, the idea that you had was just uh, outstanding. And we could do the same thing for Bill and then just put it, the, the canopy over the top of it. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All those all canopies all that Bill up. had, though, are so big. Wow. Uh, he, he had to leave them. I hear he has to go back and go find them. Yeah, I got to go and get the. We, we ended up leaving one of the, the smallest one. We left okay. that and the grid panels. So, we're going to go back this week to go reclaim it. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Yeah. Well, yeah. Kenny, I'm going to let you say goodbye to everybody. Um, first of all, I want to thank you very much for coming on tonight. Um, thank you, it, it was an absolute pleasure meeting you this last weekend and sitting and talking to you. And, and you, you did a bunch of stuff for me, and uh, I can never tell you how much I appreciate that. It was very, very cool. Oh, no problem. I, uh, I appreciate you guys having me out and uh, with you guys. And it was an honor to meet uh, you and uh, Tim and uh, Chip and and paintball dave again and and bill everybody was just fantastic your guys's wives were uh, fantastic on helping out everything that we couldn't get done by ourselves and and keeping us well fed along with the cook shack and uh oh, yeah it was it was just all fantastic it's uh, memories i'll never forget and uh i hope we can do it all again in the near future and uh, we're, we're going to yeah I look Kenny, there's a gentleman ben allen um, if you get a chance, uh, maybe maybe talk to him because he said, "Tell me about your trailer, Kenny." Oh, and yeah. so maybe, maybe you could link up with him and tell him about that because it was uh, a super super great idea. Really yeah. Cool. Well, thank you guys, and uh, that thank was you. Yeah. Right on. Well, you yeah, have a good evening, Kenny. Thank you guys for having me. How you bet? Anytime. Hey, Kenny. Thanks. Well, Billy. What yeah, I, you, I feel so sorry. You still look spent, man. You were, uh, you were I'm, I'm too wore out. Yeah. Uh, you were harder than playing. I haven't even unloaded yet. Oh, my God. Everything's still in the back of the trucks. That's because Susan, Susan went to work. That's why you haven't unloaded yet. Oh, <laughs> she ain't going <laughs> to touch it. She's like, that's all you. She was a treasure there, though. She helped She helped so much. It was uh you know what's what's really really cool. Robert Rumrell just jumped in. Robert, right on, buddy. You know uh, I wish you would have been in for the show. If you get a chance, watch the show because we talked a lot about the young guns and your two kids. They fit right in, absolutely. Uh, you know he's part of Jennifer's uh, group and everything, and it's just absolutely terrific. So, all right, Billy. Well, go ahead. I got uh, our tentative date for Monte Casino next year is uh, April 9th and 10th. We're going back to the original schedule, uh, so that's that's the plan as of now. Was that uh, the original time it was uh, the years yeah. before? Yes, it was. Okay. Yep. So we're we'll be back on our original schedule. Uh, Dan wants to uh, repeat and trying to tie it up again with Bud. So him and Bud are the generals for next. I say week. it's a go. I say that's yeah. a go. So they're going to be recruiting. Uh, so I'd like to invite everybody to come out and uh, take part in one of the most fun games you'll ever play in. That's right. And I want to, real quick before we get off, Bill, I want to uh, mention uh, Joe and Angie one more time. Yep. Their last name? Schnelton. There you go. Good job. <laughs> I just, I, I would just say it, Joe, but you know, I mm. damn good chance I'd butcher that. So <laughs> I know Bill can, hand, Bill can handle it with no problem at all. <laughs> and Jennifer. Jennifer Montresor was watching. She's a great show. Jennifer, I, I appreciate so much you watching. And I appreciate so much what you, you do with the young guns. It's absolutely great. It, it really, really is. So um, anyhow, Bill, I can't wait to do this again. Um, yeah. You need to get some sleep, buddy. I will. I, 
God, you worked your butt off there. I everybody did. <laughs> yeah, you did, but you know, uh, you did an awful lot. Period. And then plus bringing the museum there and bringing the museum home and doing it, and it was just incredible. Yeah, I get tired watching you. No, the good news is. Uh, I brought my truck into a shop today, and they're going to be able to get it fixed and everything. Hopefully, I'll get it back tomorrow. Oh, really? What? Nothing major then? Uh, it, it was two injectors, but that's uh, all, huh? That was that was it, and uh, they're going to bust butt and get it done for me. They know I need the truck, so excellent. Pretty cool. It is. Well, Billy, I yeah. guess we had a pretty good show. We had quite a few people watching this, baby. Heck yeah. yeah. It absolutely amazed me. So, well, let's say goodbye to everybody. Right. Bye, everybody. A man, a few words. <laughs> All right, Billy, you take it easy, huh? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Tell, tell Susan we said hi. Oh, well, I'll tell her in the morning. She's already asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good, brother. Yeah, you take it easy. Yeah. All right. All right, everybody, that was Mr. William Bailey. Um, great show tonight, everybody. Uh, you know, I want to thank all my guests for coming on. Uh, we talked about just a super, super great event. The, the event was absolutely great. And uh, I want to mention real quick these snack sticks. You guys have seen this box sitting up here all this time. And these snack sticks are absolutely awesome. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the, the number on my website. I'll probably put it up there tomorrow. Um, as a matter of fact, real quick, Bill is still there. Aha, uh -huh, Bill, caught you real quick. I'm telling people about the snack sticks. Heck now, yeah! This, this is the new this is the new maple ones here, oh. and uh, oh my god, they they are so good. It, they just gave me a box of twenty five today, and there's twenty two left. You know, and that's because I've been holding back. I didn't want the box to blow off while I did the show, so I'll probably wipe the rest of them out on the way home. I haven't had any since the week after the uh, New York trip. Since the week after you ate them all, I know. <laughs> I need <didn't, I> <laughs> to order some. Aren't they good though? <laughs> They're damn good. They're damn good. That's the word I was looking for. God bless yeah. You always get that in on me. Yeah. <laughs> right on, Billy. You know, now maple. Oh, my get... God. These, these are well, outstanding. What are the Canadians going to do when they hear that that's out there? Oh, the Canadians are going to riot when they hear there's oh maple on it. Oh, my God. Know but, you know, that's no problem. No. You know, and, 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 you know, another thing, too, is he says in a couple of weeks to coming out with the teriyaki ones, too, so. It's going to be pretty cool. So I'm going to put I'm going to put it up on on the site uh, to get a chance. You're going to want to get a hold of uh, this guy. And it's actually my my nephew, and uh, he's uh, yep. It is Bill Jr. and uh, Bill Schultz Jr. Bill Jr. Schultz. Any way you want to run it. And uh, anyhow, it, it's just a terrific, terrific thing. So I will put that up on my site so everybody watching. You're going to want to try these, Billy. I'm going to send you some of these because you know I always do that. Um, yeah, I'm these are gonna, uh, I can't you know, wait for teriyaki. Oh yeah, these, yeah, I love teriyaki too. That's what I told them. But wait till you taste these maple ones. These are yeah. excellent. So, yeah. okay, Bill, let me say goodbye to you one more time now. All right. See ya. All right, buddy. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> All right, everybody. You know, uh, another week has gone by. Um, I had a terrific weekend uh, with some of the greatest people I've ever known and some of the greatest people for the first time I've met. And it's just been absolutely excellent. So um, I guess we're all pretty pooped right now. And uh, I want you to tune in next week, uh, 7 o'clock Pacific time on Facebook on Flagpole Productions. And next week, we're going to have another great group. Um, but I want to thank again everybody that watched tonight. I have uh, what I consider the best audience in podcasting. And I just, uh, all I can say is I love you guys. You did an absolutely terrific, terrific thing for all of us when you tune in and you watch us. So till next Tuesday evening at 7 o'clock Pacific time, please play hard, play safe, play fair, but get out there and play some paintball. All right?